As the person selected to give the award, it's always an interesting process for me. Uh, many of these people I know in some one capacity or another, so uh, for me that's extremely rewarding. Knowing these people, uh, knowing the commitment that they've made, knowing how much they deserve the award they, they're getting, just being the person that's giving that award, it's, it's a feeling that's hard to describe. The ones that are most interesting is someone who has done something really exceptional. Um, we all look at it in awe. Uh, and you know, you talk to them, you explain to them they've been given this award, and they're floored. Uh, they, they just have no idea. The genesis of the award actually goes back to Dan wanting to do more research. Uh, Rolex was at the, at the front of the pack, if you will, seeing that their participation and helping Dan do the research is going to make the sport safer. Uh, it's just, it's been one of those things that's been a catalyst for so many things that you really can't identify all the, uh, if you will, intangible ways that this award uh, has helped dive safety. So I think the, the most special thing about the award is that it's, it's a two-fold award, right? So the recipient actually gets something, gets some acknowledgement for something that they've done during their career, which, you know, we all like to have that recognition, so I think that's a big part of it. But just as important is the support that Rolex provides to Dan and, and to research and diving safety. So I think when the community at large looks at it, when scientists look at it, when there's so little funding out there for research, you know, they truly appreciate what Rolex is doing and I think collectively we all look at it and think that Rolex is making a difference by their support. When you have somebody like Rolex that steps up and says this is important, it brings attention to it and it draws in those individuals and it actually helps us identify who's doing something because a lot of these heroes, as everybody knows, go they're unsung heroes, right? Nobody ever really talks about it. You know, they're humble, they're not out there pounding their chest saying I did this and that. Those are the people we want. So as we began to review the list of nominees that was presented, uh, it became evident that even though a number of people ha had undertaken different initiatives during the year to, to move dive safety forward, the pandemic pretty much shut things down. And we started thinking a little bit bigger. So, so beyond what happened during 2020, what individual may have had an even greater contribution than, than we've recognized in the past? Oh, Bill Ziefel called me up and, uh, and inform me of the fabulous news. I'm completely honored by winning the Dan Rolex Award. I've seen uh, a large number of people who are at the top of their field uh, win it over the years and I'm just ecstatic and delighted that uh, I'm able to be considered in that category. And I think one of the driving forces was that Richard, Dr. Moon, was so important to the early development of Dan and had never, in my view, received the type of recognition that he deserved. So as the conversation developed and we started having this conversation with others, it was kind of a universal decision that, yeah, here's a guy that probably, if you had to list the two or three people that were most instrumental in Dan becoming what it is today, he would be one of those. Until Dan, uh, emergency treatment of divers was a hit or miss. Uh, they often used to call us from all over the country, in fact the Caribbean, and we uh, used to get transfers uh, from the Caribbean to Duke uh, when I first got here within a, a few weeks. Uh, we had a young lady who was transferred, couldn't walk, paraplegic, um, from uh, Jamaica and uh, so that was you know a, a major uh, enlightenment to me as to how things could be improved. Dr. Moon was one of those visionaries in the early days that realized we can create this emergency hotline, we can staff it with people who know about diving medicine and we can help these people when they travel around the world and it's that perseverance along obviously with others here at Dan that actually allowed Dan to become what it is today. You know, we're surrounded by uh, organizations and people who are making money and obviously have a, they'll tell you their product is the greatest in the world, but obviously there's a conflict of interest because they want to sell you something. But Dan has a, um, 
uh, head above it all uh, reputation uh, where um, th there's no uh, th there's no hidden agendas with Dan. It's a, an organization that is uh, um, designed and dedicated to safety. Um, but Dr. Moon had one focus. Um, that was his work. Uh, that was the divers. Uh, that was actually putting together a structure so that as time passed, we actually had uh, the, the pieces in place to continue this beyond any one person or any one program. So um, I, I think that, that overall commitment, um, he knew what he wanted to do. He jumped in with both feet, and uh, I don't think he's wavered that from day one. Um, he is uh, what you would think of as, you know, that hyperbaric diving medicine physician, and I can tell you, anybody that gets hurt, he's the guy you want at your bedside. A guiding principle, I would say, is uh, do what's right. Do what's right for, uh, for a patient, do what's right for one's colleagues, do what's right for one's family. Uh, and uh, that principle, I think, uh, will lead one down the right alley. One of our major tasks as senior people in any field is to help the next generation and um, I really love doing that and if the Rolex Award provides more opportunities for me to do that, I'll, I'll be absolutely ecstatic. Uh, I would just like to express my gratitude to uh, those within Dan with whom I have the pleasure to work uh, and, and all of the previous individuals who are now doing other things, um, thank them for the opportunity that Dan has given me to uh, work in this area and, and uh, hopefully push the field forward. Dr. Moon, on behalf of Rolex, myself and the entire Dan organization, the staff at Dan, and not just the current ones, but the ones you helped mentor over the last 30 years, we thank you for your service and we are excited to acknowledge your accomplishments with this Lifetime Achievement Award as the Dan Rolex 2021 Diver of the Year. Congratulations, you are a true professional.